please get and have a seat and take some time also for questions and answers. Yep. Okay. Okay. Hello, everyone. Yep. I'm uh, Edward. Uh, I'm an open street mapper. I've been mapping for 15 years and I'm part of the uh, Wikipedia community as well. I'm an admin on English language Wikipedia. So I'm going to be talking today about a tool that I've built uh, for machine assisted matching of uh, OpenStreetMap and Wikidata uh, items. So um, we all know OpenStreetMap, I'm sure. Wikidata is. Um, uh, Wikidata is, is a, a big database uh, full of things, including geographical ob objects uh, with coordinates. So it would be nice if we can match them together uh, and then uh, add links to OpenStreetMap that take you to uh, Wikidata. So I'm going to show you the, uh, the software that I've built. I'll talk a bit more about what Wikidata is after that. Uh, so, so here's a screenshot. This is uh, the center of Brussels around uh, the Grand Place. Uh, so this is, I've, I've done a search and I've, the, the, the system is run, it takes a few minutes and it, and it finds some suggestions uh, for th things that match between the two different databases that you might want to add links. So if I uh, scroll down the page, I get uh, a login button. Uh, so I hit the login button uh, and that takes me to uh, OpenStreetMap and I log in with my OpenStreetMap credentials uh, using uh, the OpenStreetMap OAuth. Uh, I come back to the same page. Um, and then if I scroll down, the, these uh, are the suggested matches. So um, if I got uh, this, this first section of a match is the data that comes from Wikidata and Wikipedia. So you've got uh, the, the label, um, you know, how it's known in Wikidata, um, and then the item types, and, and a, the extract is taken from uh, Wikipedia. So in this case, it's just, there's only a French Wikipedia article, so the, the extract is in French. Um, and then underneath that, we've got the uh, suggested matching OpenStreetMap item. So the system thinks that these two things are the, the same thing. Um, uh, over here, we've got the, uh, the map. The, uh, the, the blue pins are where the Wikidata um, item coordinates are. Um, so we've, we've got this option, uh, show on map, and that, that will uh, zoom in on, on one of these matches so you can see it. So I'm going to use the Maison de Roy in uh, the Grand Place as my example. Um, and, and so this is zoomed in. You can see uh, on the map the, the red pin is the selected Wikidata item. And uh, there's a blue border, like a polygon, around the OpenStreetMap object. Um, and the system is saying this is, this is an exact match. Um, so if, if we like a match, then uh, we take the box next to the item uh, to say that, that it's good. So we can go through all of these and, and check that they're valid. Um, once we're happy, then we, uh, we can click uh, Save button to, uh, to add the links to OpenStreetMap, um, get a confirmation page where you just see the same list of uh, matches again. The system's like, are you, are you really sure you want to uh, save these? Um, but there's the list of matches. Uh, and then you get a uh, change comment. You can set the, uh, the comment for your change set. Um, it, it makes one up by default, but you can edit it. You hit save, and then it will save these links into OpenStreetMap. So uh, um, people are using the tool. So 140 uh, users have used it. And um, you can see there are 6,500 change sets, almost 180,000 uh, Wikidata uh, links added to OpenStreetMap. Um, so the, uh, the system uses these matching criteria for uh, deciding if, if something is uh, a match between the two systems. Uh, here is, is an example. Here's a pub. Uh, so, you know, entity type coordinates. Uh, the system looks at the name and sees if the, the name is the same. Like, it does some normalization on the name. It lowercases the name and removes uh, and... Uh, and uh, bits and pieces like that. And, and if it can't match on the name, then it'll try matching on the street address. So I've got some more examples. Um, this, this is Paddington Station in London. So uh, it, it'll look at the, the identifier, the, uh, the station code, which is in both Wikidata and uh, OpenStreetMap. Uh, and in fact, uh, there's lots of identifiers that I compare. So the, these identifiers all have a key that they appear in OpenStreetMap. Uh, and a, a property in, in uh, Wikidata that I can use to match on. 
uh, here, here's another example, here's a, a lighthouse, uh, and all lighthouses have a standard uh, reference number that it can match on. Um, so I'm going to talk about, uh, this is a theater in the center of Brussels. Uh, you can see like, th there's the pin of, of where the theater is. Um, and, and the system knows from Wikidata that it's a theater, uh, and it knows that uh, OpenStreetMap uses uh, am amenity equals uh, theater to represent theaters. But, but how do we get that mapping between the two? So if we have a look at Wikidata, here's the, uh, the theater on uh, Wikidata. Uh, and it's got uh, instance of theater. There's like a type system in Wikidata. So we know this is a theater. Uh, and then if we have a look on the theater page, you can see there's a property within uh, Wikidata for uh, OSM tag or key. So uh, Wikidata knows um, OpenStreetMap tags, and, and that's the, how the system can figure out you know, the, a theater, how a theater is represented on OpenStreetMap. Um, so... Uh, the, uh, the important thing if you want to work with Wikidata is you need to use uh, the Wikidata query service. Like in the background, my system is, is using this. There's a, a user interface that you can look at and you can try out. Um, and the queries are written in Sparkle, uh, which is a semantic query language. This example is uh, theaters in Brussels. Um, and uh, Sparkle's kind of complicated. Like you don't have to know this to use at all, but it's just it's very useful if you want to work with Wikidata, you should uh, figure out Sparkle. Uh, and this, this example query I've got here is the theaters in Brussels, you can see. Um, so I can, I can use Sparkle to uh, have a look at the um, OSM tag key within Wikidata as well. Uh, so the, um, this is a search for uh, amenities within um, Wikidata. And you can see it's found a list of... Uh, the, the various kind of types of things that are amenities in the OSM uh, key that goes with them. Um, so this is kind of the kind of uh, searches that the system is doing uh, underneath, like much more complex Sparkle queries. And um, it, uh, the Sparkle supports uh, uh, bounding box searches, which is important for uh, geospatial data. So that, that's the, uh, the bit of the code that you use for uh, searching in a, a bounding box. Um, I'll just uh, talk a bit about how the, the, the matcher runs. Like you do a search for a place and uh, it gives you some search results and you pick from one of the search results. The search results are coming from uh, the Nominatum API, uh, which also gives us the polygon for the, the thing. And then once we've got the polygon, we can figure out the bounding box and go and ask Wikidata for items within that bounding box. Um, and we also grab the first few paragraphs of text in every language uh, so that we've got the excerpts to, uh, to show on the, the comparison page and also to get the, uh, the street addresses which often appear in the, in the excerpt. Um, so this is uh, built with WebSocket, like the user sits looking at this map for a minute or two while it, it's, it's doing some processing and it, it shows you the status as, as it's updating. Um, so the next step is it goes off and searches open, the OpenStreetMap uh, overpass API to find matching items within the bounding box. And then it loads all of that data into uh, PostGIS um, to be able to do the comparison. Um, and then it, it runs the matching process to try and find uh, things. So uh, just if anyone's interested, this is the stack that I've used to build. It's all written in uh, Python with Flask, SQL Alchemy. Um, I'm using uh, Leaflet and Bootstrap on the front end. Um, so I'm just going to talk about some of the other uh, features in the software. Like one of the uh, problems I had was what language should I use for showing labels in? Like uh, there isn't a standard, there isn't an easy way to find what language, you know, is the preferred language for a particular uh, country. Um, and even country level isn't useful because sometimes it varies by region. So the system tries to guess uh, what language to show the labels in. Like in, in central Brussels, it's uh, decided to use Dutch as the top one because that has the most uh, labels and then uh, French and then English. Uh, but if we don't like it, we can change it. So there's, there's an edit button uh, and uh, you can drag and drop to reorder. So m maybe I can uh, drag them, you know, switch them around if I want to change it. Um, so I'll show you some more features. The, uh, the
The, the system detects that uh, the center of Brussels is quite small and complains and says, I might want to choose a larger area. Um, so it, it gives some suggestions for bigger areas that I might want to search on. Um, equally, if I try searching for uh, uh, Belgium, it, it'll work, but it's, it's uh, big for the system. Like, uh, so if I click on uh, Belgium, uh, you get to the, um, the, the page where it runs and tries to find the, uh, the matches, uh, but it's too big, so the, the system splits it up into chunks. Like, uh, if you just try and do the whole of uh, a country at once, then you'll get a timeout from the Wikidata query service and from the um, OpenStreetMap overpass service. So I, I, I split the area into chunks, and I do them one at a time, and then recombine the results. Uh, and even with the chunking, sometimes I hit timeouts, so the system detects when I hit a timeout uh, and then splits it into four chunks and retries. Um, so so th this is one approach for doing uh, large areas. Um, the problem you'll have with this is the, the list of matches will have like 10,000 items on it that you've got to go through and check. And there's no kind of bookmarking where you can just do half and then come back later. Like if you leave the browser window open, it'll work. But so, so it would be better if we had a different approach, which is uh, the, we can use the um, browse interface. So if there's a link here for browsing. If I click browse, then uh, I get a list of the subregions within Belgium, uh, and I can zoom in on these. Like, so if I click on uh, Brussels capital region, then, it, then I get uh, the, these are all the uh, municipalities of Belgium. Yeah, right. Could I just get a quick word? I'm sorry, to, uh, just a quick announcement. People who are sitting on the stairs or standing here in the exit, could I please ask you to leave because you're blocking one of the emergency exits? So either take one of the free seats if they're still available, but people sitting on stairs and standing here uh, kindly request to leave. Uh, the live stream is on and it is working. Uh, so you can watch that. There are some places here Sorry? You're allowed to stay. Okay, great, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> so, uh, that, that's most of the features I want to uh, talk about in the software. Uh, I'll just talk about uh, Wikidata a bit for uh, people who aren't familiar with Wikidata. Uh, it's, uh, database of structured data um, run by the Wikimedia Foundation, the same people as Wikipedia. Um, it's been around since 2012. Um, and, and why do we want to do this is the other question. So I'm going to use the Grand Place as, as my example. Um, here's the Grand Place on uh, Wikipedia. Um, and it's got, here's a link to take you to uh, uh, Wikidata. Here's, here's the, uh, the Wikidata item that represents the Grand Place. Um, so we get lots of links to uh, Wikipedia. There's 50 languages, there's articles written about the Grand Place, um, which is useful. Um, this, this is the main chunk of a Wikidata page. You get a list of statements. This is a bit like tags in OpenStreetMap, like uh, you know key and value. Um, and then this is the, uh, the key thing for uh, referring to a Wikidata page. They all have a unique identifier that uh, starts with a queue followed by a number, uh, and that appears in the, um, the URL as well. And our Wikidata identifiers are um, permanent and stable. They won't change over time when something gets renamed. So they're a, a useful way of linking in to um, a, a, a catalog. Um, and, and this is what it looks like when you look on OpenStreetMap at the Grand Place. You can see it's got the, uh, the Wikidata link uh, in there as a tag. Um, so again, what, what do we get from Wikidata? We get uh, a link to uh, Wikimedia Commons, like if you want photos of the Grand Place, there's over 200 photos. Um, we get some more labels, like uh, you can have the, the name in, in different languages, like more labels than appear in OpenStreetMap. Um, and we get uh, some external identifiers. So the Wikidata has links into uh, free, the Freebase ID, and it has the GeoNames ID or the World Heritage Site ID. Um, you know, all very useful. Like just by having the Wikidata link, we've got linked into these external catalogs. Um, so just to recap, this is uh, you know what we get: um, labels in more languages, links to Wikipedia, links to Wikimedia Commons. 
identifiers for other data catalogs. So this is a good thing, but uh, you know, there's people uh, adding the tags by hand to, uh, to OpenStreetMap, but it's, it's time consuming, and so that's why I thought it would be good to automate it. Um, but there's also some difficulties uh, trying to link the two systems. Like uh, the licenses are different. Uh, Wikidata is uh, CC0, uh, which is like public domain, whereas OpenStreetMap uses its own license, the Open Database license. Um, and so you can't copy any data from OpenStreetMap into Wikidata because, the, because of the difference in licensing. Um, but it even gets worse than that. Like they, uh, they use different property juri pro intellectual property jurisdictions. Like OpenStreetMap uh, uses, asserts database rights under European law and the uh, Wikimedia Foundation is, uh, is keener on US intellectual property law which says that things like co um, coordinates are facts and they're not protected by uh, intellectual property. So there's people within the OpenStreetMap community are suspicious of where the coordinates in Wikidata come from. They, they question whether a lot of them were copied from uh, Google Maps, like people look up where something is on Google Maps, get the coordinates, put them in Wikidata. Um, in, in which case, does that make Wikidata a derived work of uh, Google Maps? Um, but I think that these problems don't really uh, affect this tool because I'm not copying any data between the systems. Like I use the coordinates to lo find the matches, but I, the only thing I'm doing is adding the link. Um, so. The, uh, my, my first attempt at this was like a fully automated system uh, where I was just uh, um, uploading um, uh, tags without ha uh, checking them first. And uh, that, that you know, was against the rules. People were unimpressed. Uh, I had a role account doing that, which got blocked. Um, so better to have the, uh, the, the user interface where people can check things. And also, uh, local people can check things in their own area. Like, it's, it's not just me trying to do the whole world. Um, so yeah, machine-assisted editing is good. Um, what about adding links in the other direction? It would be nice to put links uh, in Wikidata that point at OpenStreetMap. Now, that is difficult because OpenStreetMap doesn't have stable identifiers like this. This is the URL for uh, um, the Grand Place, and you see it's got a, an ID in there. Um, that ID isn't guaranteed to stay the same. Like someone is free to come to OpenStreetMap and uh, and and redraw the Grand Place maybe in, in finer detail, and the ID will change. Um, and there's been discussions with an OpenStreetMap about adding permanent IDs that don't change, um, but those have been going on for years, and it still doesn't have permanent IDs. They they're quite permanent, like, you know, this probably won't change, but not quite permanent enough for us to start putting them in uh, Wikidata. So, you know, we just have the links going in one direction at the moment. Um, yeah, so just another screenshot of, of, of the tool, um, and, and that's mostly it. Um, I, I'm just going to do, do a live demo and see if this works. So th this is the page that I was just describing. Um, let me scroll to the top. Like I've got uh, English is the uh, the preferred option. It's still, you know, not a lot of it's in English because. Uh, uh, but here, here we've got uh, the name of a pub called the King of Spain, and it's come up in English because I've got English selected. Uh, I can click show tags, uh, and it and it shows the the tags that represent this. The uh, building equals yes is uh, is highlighted because it's got building over here. So, you know that's that's the matching type. Um, th this one actually matches on identifier. So none of the names match perfectly. The names are a bit all over the place. But it's got this website address here, uh, which matches this website address here. So this website is from uh, um, Wikidata, and this is OpenStreetMap and it's managed to match it. Uh, I can do show on map. And then you get, you get to see the pub highlighted. Um, so I can, I can, I've checked all these, and I can scroll down to the bottom. Um, so here, you've got the Brussels Stock Exchange. Uh, and it, it knows from the categories on uh, Wikipedia that the Brussels Stock Exchange is defunct. 
like it's in the defunct stock exchanges category. So it's like maybe this isn't a good match because maybe the stock exchange doesn't exist anymore. Um, and actually, let's, if I click on show on map, uh, you can see it's highlighted the building, like that's the match it's found. And I've got two pins here, uh, which are both the Brussels Stock Exchange. There's uh, Bourse of Brussels, uh, and, and there's uh, Brussels Stock Exchange. So, so what's going on there is that there's two items within Wikidata that represent the stock exchange. And one of them represents the building, and the other one represents the institution. Uh, and they, but they both have coordinates, and they've both matched. So the system doesn't know which to, to use, uh, and so it gives you like an error. It's got OSM uh, coordinate matches multiple items and a little cross. Like uh, so, let's. If I scroll to the bottom, and then I click Add, then th this is the uh, the confirmation page, um, and you've got this warning here suggesting you talk to your local mapping community. But I'm just going to hit Save. Uh, and it's using uh, WebSockets, and it's going through, and it's saving. So this is editing OpenStreetMap, and it's, it's edited OpenStreetMap. And then I can say, view your change set. Uh, and you can see I've, I've, if I scroll down just here, I've edited all of these things and added uh, Wikidata tags. So. That is my talk. Are there any questions? Yes, first one. Uh, hello. Hi. So, uh, do, do, does uh, do you know any uh, piece of software that <coughs> sorry, actually used the tags afterwards? Do you like click on a map? The, um, My software doesn't consider the Wikipedia tag. Uh, I think quite a lot of the Wikipedia tags are wrong. Like, um, there's a lot more Wikidata items than there are Wikipedia articles, and so the, the, the Wikidata tag can be a lot more precise. Like, you might find uh, a seaside resort has uh, a beach, and the beach is referred to in the article, and so people link the beach to the seaside resort. But, um, you know, there might be a Wikidata item that just represents the beach, so you could do a more precise... Um, link that way. And does anything use it? The, um, the OpenStreetMap uh, web interface is using it. Well, it, the, it understands it and links through. Um, and the, the OpenStreetMap editor that's on the website, the ID editor, uh, understands Wikidata uh, and will query Wikidata and pull the title from Wikidata. Um, I've actually got an example, if I can figure out how to... Let's, here we go. Um, Well, the, so you were asking about uh, the Wikidata tag. If you, if this example, Maison de Roy, uh, you know, is a, is a building in the Grand Place. But if you look at the Wikipedia tag, it says, you know, this is the, the Grand Place uh, article in Dutch on the, um, so this is wrong, this Wikipedia tag. Like, uh, now, I'm going to add the w correct Wikidata tag. Maybe the software should be taking out this Wikipedia tag at the same time or correcting it. I don't, I don't know. Um, yeah, yeah, it should, it should, but I haven't, like, written any code to handle Wikipedia tags at all, and, you know, I need to do that. Um. The question, yeah, it seems very, very useful. Uh, I was wondering if you consider adding also the possibility to check the accuracy of existing links, not only a, a helpful tool to add new links, but something that uh, will to check the quality of the existing links. So I've got something. Yes, that's, that's a good point. Uh, like here, I've got already tagged. Um, this, uh, hmm, just let it load. So yeah, it'll show you a list of things that are already tagged, and it'll say whether my suggestion matches what, what is there already. Um, here we go. Uh, so that one's not a great one, but yeah. The, these, these are all matching. Um, it's a bit unsure about the uh, uh, central station. So yeah, there's some something there to uh, 
to do that. The lady behind. Funding last year, I remember. And uh, are, you, are you doing this voluntarily, or are you being paid to do this? I'm not being paid. This is just for fun, yeah. um, and I don't really have any kind of official connection to uh, uh, Wikidata. Um, Even nicer. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, I have a comment for you. The Wikipedia plugin in Chosun will do matching as well. So it will give you a list of things that are. Yep, yep, good. So uh, how do I find an area to work on? Um, like if you just search for your local area and um, uh, have a look, you know, try that. Or you can browse. Um, so you might pick, you know, your, your country and then zoom in a bit. Um, the one, one of the pieces that I'm missing is like keeping track of progress. Like I should be able to say, well, you know, Brussels is 100% done um, or... The, the browse screen should have kind of percentages next to each subregion, so you know there, there isn't a good way to figure out like uh, where where to go and work on at the moment. Does that answer your question? Um, just, you, you mentioned that there is no way to bookmark your work in progress, and if you hit a fresh, basically yeah. your work will be lost. So how about using the browser storage? store just what the user's been working on and just adding uh, basically a hash into the URL to use one of the uh, things stored in the local browser storage that you don't have to store something on the server side but on the other hand you don't pollute the URL. This could solve this issue. But obviously you should probably edit, you could do huge edits but still. Yeah, this is a good idea. Uh, the other option would be like uh, it might show you one match at a time and say is this good or bad and you hit save and like uh, I could be sending something back to the server and storing it. So there's, there's ways of doing it. Like I, I've just been avoiding the problem by working on smaller areas, like not, not trying to do massive areas at once. Like the other thing is how the chain set looks to other people who come and have a look at um, OpenStreetMap. Like if you try and do a whole country you, it'll be very overwhelming for someone to try and look at your work. Mm -hmm. um, so that's like a nice reason for um, using smaller areas. Just a small tiny, tiny comment. Um, uh, you said about the, the stable identifiers, lack of them in OpenStreetMap. So just to everyone, if you want to see a, an example of unstable identifiers, Node 1, it's got pretty interesting history. Thanks. Um, points of interest, which is one fixed origin, and what about the routes itinerary? It, it doesn't work very well with uh, linear features. Mm -hmm. So um, post the, this, the tool that I'm using uh, doesn't seem to load rivers, I don't think. It does streams and canals, but again, not very well. Like, the canals are often represented as a series of ways, um, and, like... When I built this, I was very keen to have a one-to-one -one mapping between OpenStreetMap and Wikidata, and there isn't a one-to-one -one mapping. Like uh, OpenStreetMap tends to have, you know, separate, like represent a road as a series of ways, and you know they're the same road because they've got the same reference or the same name. Um, so I get into difficulties with bridges and tunnels because in OpenStreetMap, bridges and tunnels tend to be represented as two ways, like for in either direction for a road bridge or a rail bridge. And so if I want to add the Wikidata tag, I need to add it to both ways, uh, and I don't support that. Like, the system will say, I found two matching things. Um, so, yeah. It, it, yeah, yeah, stuff like that. The bridges, had, there's another tag for man-made equals bridge, which is supposed to be a polygon drawn around the bridge, mm -hmm. and I've got some special case code that detects that and says, oh, I'll use that one, and it ignores the others. But... Tunnel doesn't have something like that. Tunnels, if it's a two-bore tunnel, it's always represented as two lines on, uh, on OpenStreetMap, and I need to change my code or convince OpenStreetMap that there should be an object that uniquely represents the tunnel. Um, yeah. yeah. 
The, um, it works with uh, hiking routes, like hiking routes is a linear feature and is a relation, um, and, it, and it matches those up. Um, yeah. Yep, yep, does relations. Yeah, does does all three types of objects. Same question. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. What about tags like branch Wikidata, operator Wikidata? I, I don't go near that. I don't touch those. That that's uh, for other people. Like maybe sometime the uh, brands is complicated because. Uh, like, um, I have a problem with banks. When you try and do a city where a bank has an office, I often match a nearby branch, things like that. Like, uh, you know, it doesn't handle. And, and libraries get confusing because, you know, the, the, the main library and branches, um, the, there's a lot of libraries in Wikidata. Someone has been loading all the libraries into Wikidata. Um, but it's tricky. Add a Wikidata, a link between a Wikidata property. Oh, I see what you mean, like the identifiers. Like, like the yeah, the, there's a config file. Uh, well, there's a bit of te uh, code that is just a, like a mapping between them. Um, yeah, it's 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 not difficult at all. Um, maybe one day uh, it'll move to the database, and you can just click a button to do it. But at the moment, it's set at the code. Go for it. Uh, you said facts are not protected in the US. Yeah. Like because they're too trivial under, under US property, uh, intellectual property law to be protected. Like, you know, if you tell me the coordinates of something, you can't claim any kind of intellectual property on that. I mean, if for a single coordinate, it's the same in, in, in the EU, but for a database of coordinates, that is like, uh, you know, a lot of work you've done collecting a database, and so the EU says that that's protected. But in the US, no, it's not. It's not protected. Okay, then I'm starting to understand why they Trump are. is still in the White House. <laughs> um, second question is, how can they help you help the community? Um, yeah, I mean, people can use the tool. Um, the, uh, or, or, or file bugs, like I've got bug tracking on uh, on OpenStreetMap, on um, GitHub. Um, that, that's it, I think. I mean, if anyone wants to uh, contribute, like uh, I'm the only developer at the moment, the code is kind of tricky to install. The, there is an um, Ansible um, playbook for in installing it, um, but there's a lot of moving parts. Like, you know, it does, a, does there's lots of bits to it to try and get it working. Um, you say a lot of moving parts, you are on your own. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking in terms of viability, the moment that you run into the wrong train, then this project is sort of uh, at the end of its life cycle, as you are. Uh, how would you want to continue this, make it more sustainable? Yeah, yeah, good question. Well, like I say, the code is out there, so someone could take it over, like... Uh, um, yeah, I don't, I don't have an answer really to how to make it uh, more sustainable. Okay, well maybe that's the case with lots of open source projects actually. But um, thank you very much again. Thank you. Okay, the, can the next speaker, uh, that is Peter Kai.